we are going to start talking about a special month called Hispanic Heritage Month. The month runs from September 15th to October 15th. The purpose of celebrating Hispanic Heritage Month is to celebrate the influence Hispanic culture has had here in America. Hola! Hola! Hola. Hola, me llamo Esmis Voth. Hola, me, me llamo Miss Fernandez. Hola, me llamo Kirsten. Hola, me llamo Jordan. Hola, me llamo Emily. Hola, me llamo Jennifer. Hola, me llamo Genesis. Hola, me llamo Ariela. We are celebrating Hispanic Heritage this month. It's a special month that runs from September 15th to October 15th to celebrate Hispanic culture. Okay, este mes estamos celebrando la herencia hispana. Celebramos este del el 15 de septiembre al 15 de octubre esta celebración celebra la cultura de los países que se hablan español y también las personas que viven, o no viven en estos países Willow Lake es un lugar especial para, para celebrar el mes de la herencia hispana Willow Lake is such a special place to celebrate Hispanic Heritage Month. Tenemos otros diferentes. Tenemos. Tenemos antes de ocho diferentes. Hispanic. Cultura. We have students from eight different Hispanic cultures. The only group of people who are truly native to America are Native Americans. The rest of us can trace our roots to ancestors who immigrated to the United States from other countries. One group of Americans who can do this are Hispanics. Hispanics and Latinos can trace their roots to Spain, Mexico, the Caribbean, and Central and South America. Around 50 million Americans call themselves Hispanic or Latino. Their customs and traditions have become a part of the United States culture. Because of this, Congress passed a law stating that September 15th through October 15th is National Hispanic Heritage Month. During this month, Hispanic activities are celebrated all over the United States. Music, food, dancing, and story readings from Latino and Hispanic history and culture are shared. Hispanic authors, poets, artists, and performers share the arts from their ancestors' countries. Hispanic active military men and women and military veterans, as well as those who have or do serve in politics, are honored. Government organizations like the National Archives and Smithsonian Institute join together to recognize the many generations of Hispanic Americans who have added great things to our nation and society. National Hispanic Heritage Month starts on September 15th and not September 1st because five Central American countries celebrate their independence around that day. Those five countries are Costa Rica, El Salvador, Guatemala, Honduras, and Nicaragua. So if you're of Hispanic or Latino heritage, remember to show pride in who you are, especially between September 15th and October 15th. Willow Lake is such a special place to celebrate Hispanic Heritage Month. Over 120 of our students speak Spanish as their home language. Some of our students' home countries are Ecuador, Mexico, El Salvador, Guatemala, Puerto Rico, Venezuela, and Honduras. This man is wearing a sombrero. The sombrero is one of Mexico's national and cultural symbols. 
The name comes from sombra, the Spanish word for shade or shadow. So you can make the assumption that they were created to protect horse riders and farm workers from the hot, beaming Mexican sun. Sombreros can be made from straw in different colors, but if you had a lot of money and wanted to stand apart from other Hispanics, you would get one made for you out of felt and have it decorated with gold fancy embroidery. The traditional Mexican sombrero has a huge brim and is too heavy for actual workers to wear, so it is usually worn by a marachi band or Mexican folk musicians. Sombreros can reflect the social status of the wearer. So the wider the brim, the taller the cone, and the brighter the bling, the better off you are, the more money you have. The sombrero influenced the American cowboy hat by having a similar purpose, to protect workers from the hot sun while they worked hard all day. Hi, Willow Lake artists, and welcome back to Art for the Week. This week we are learning all about Hispanic Heritage Month because it is the first of the month, September 15th through October 15th. And we learned a little bit about uh, the sombrero hat, so I figured it would be pretty awesome if we could come in here and learn how to draw our own sombrero. So here's my example. I had a lot of fun making it. I added some patterns on it. I'm going to show you guys how to make it. Then I'll show you how to add some patterns. And it's going to be up to you guys if you want to do my pattern or you want to come up with your own pattern. All right, let's get started. And you can have your paper sideways, horizontal, or you could keep it vertical, however you would like. I'm going to put mine horizontal. So I'm going to start with a curvy little bump on one side. And you are going to want to make the other bump. You want to try to keep it right across from the bump you already made, except the bump is going the other way this time. After you have got those two lines, we're going to take a curved line and take it make sure our points touch each other so you don't you don't want a straight line you want it to have just a little bit of a curve just a little and I'm going to do that same thing on the bottom all right now from this point to this point we're going to do another curve so from this point to this point, we're going to do another curve. Start here in the bottom. Come up, 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 and bring it back down. So now we've divided that shape into two parts. And this bottom part, it should be way skinnier, way smaller than this top part. And this is where we're going to put the big oval, because this is the opening. This is where our head will go. So do a long skinny oval. And now we're going to make the top of our hat. So it's like a cone shape. It's not a triangle. It's a cone. And I don't want you to start on the edge either. We're going to start right here. And we're going to go up, 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 up. And then we're going to bring it back down. So we have the beginning of our sombrero. Now we're going to add some patterns. So remember, patterns are something that repeat, repeat, repeat. A pattern can be a shape that repeats. A pattern can be a color that repeats. Here's some patterns. I did some zigzags. I did some polka dots. I got a, some stripes, just two in this pattern. So to do zigzags, we could go up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. You could do the same thing on top, or you could put a different pattern. Remember, your patterns don't have to look like Miss Vos. Do some polka dots. Polka dots are these could be little jewels, gemstones. Stripe. Remember, if I'm ever going too fast for you, you can pause the video. 
you could do stripes on the whole cone. You could do a couple stripes. I put a star on top of that one. So triangle, sideways triangle, sideways triangle, upside down triangle, upside down triangle. There is one of my sombreros. I also drew some that had some strings. So if you wanted to put the strings, since normally they come down and tie under your chin, you could add strings if you want to. Then you're going to go back in and color it. And if you are feeling up for an art challenge, you could cut your sombrero out. That way you have an actual hat. You could actually pretend like it's a hat on your head. I love my new sombrero hat. I want to say thank you, you guys, for participating in this lesson. I have four different things to share with you. Today we were being cuidado or caring by genuinely listening to the special things about Hispanic culture. We were being open-minded, even though not all of us are Hispanic or Latina. We are being open-minded and learning about this new culture and the things that make it special and unique. We were being pensativo or reflective by realizing that a lot of our friends here at Willow Lake are Hispanic and we are very, very lucky to be surrounded by them. And lastly, I am being an inquirer, and I hope you guys have sparked this want or need to be inquiring about Hispanic or Latina culture. There are many similarities and differences to my culture, and I think learning about new cultures is so very fun. And if you are one of our friends that is Hispanic or Latina, thank you so much for letting us celebrate it with you today. And I can't wait to learn some more. Adios, amigos. I'll see you next week. Adios. 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 Adios, amigos. Adios. 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 Adios.